Hi guys, this is Manohar and welcome to Tutorials. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the topic boats and ships. Actually, this topic is completely based on the speed, time and distance. So if you don't know what is the concept of speed, time and distance, I recommend you to please watch speed, time and distance before watching this boats and ships. Okay, because if you don't know what is the concept of speed, time and distance, you can't understand what is this boats and ships. Okay, that's the reason. Try to watch speed, time and distance before watching this boats and ships. The concept behind boats and ships and also speed, time and distance is exactly same, but there is a minor difference in this boats and ships. Okay, now let's see what is the difference. Suppose assume that when I am traveling in a bike or car in the speed, time and distance, there is no speed acting opposite to me. Okay, suppose assume that I am traveling in a car. Okay, so when I am traveling in a car, I must be traveling on the road, right? So when I am traveling in a car, I must be traveling on the road. So when I am travelling in the car, there is no speed that is acting opposite to me. Okay. But when I am travelling in a boat, okay, I must be travelling on the water. Okay. So when I am travelling in the boat, there must be some speed to the water. So that speed will be acting opposite to the boat or along with the boat. Okay. Actually, this is the basic difference in these boats and streams. Okay. Now I will take some examples and explain you what is the basic difference between boats and streams and also speed, time and distance. Okay, now suppose assume that there is a boat here. Okay, suppose assume that there is a boat here, and a boat is traveling on the water. Okay, suppose assume that there is a boat here and a boat is traveling on the water. Now let's assume the boat is traveling with a speed of b kilometer per hour. Okay, b kilometer per hour, and also the water is traveling with a speed of s kilometer per hour. Okay, I have already told you when the boat is traveling on the water, there will be some speed to the water also. Okay, now let's assume the boat is traveling with a speed of b kilometer per hour and water is traveling with a speed of s kilometer per hour. Okay, we can call this as water flow. Okay, we can call this as water flow or stream flow. Stream flow. Okay, we can call in both ways. There is nothing wrong in that. Okay, see here, the boat is traveling with a speed of b kilometer per hour and the water is traveling with a speed of s kilometer per hour okay now let's assume boat is traveling in the forward direction okay now let's assume boat is traveling in the forward direction and also assume that water is also traveling in the same direction that is forward direction okay now when the boat are traveling in forward direction what will water do water will push the boat to increase its speed okay see here water is traveling in the forward direction and the boat is also traveling in the forward direction now what will water do water will push the boat to increase its speed that is to reach the destination faster than expected okay because water is also having some speed and moving in the forward direction okay so that's the reason water will push the boat to increase its speed now what is the speed of boat will become that is both speed of boat and also speed of water okay now see here try to understand this boat is traveling in the forward direction and the water is also traveling in the forward direction now what will water do Water will push the boat such that the speed of boat will be increased and reach the destination faster than expected. Okay, because water is also traveling in the same direction. So water will push the boat in the same direction such that the speed of boat will be increased. Okay, now what is the total speed of boat will become? The initial speed is b kilometer. Okay, now what is the total speed of boat will become? That is both the b kilometer per hour and also s kilometer per hour. Okay, because here water is pushing the boat in the same direction and increasing the speed of boat. Okay, see here, when the boat are traveling in same direction, we can call it as downstream. Downstream. Okay, when the boat is traveling in the forward direction and also water is also traveling in the same direction, that is forward direction. So when both are traveling in the same direction, we will call it as downstream. Okay, now what is the speed of boat will become? That is both speed of boat and also speed of water that is s kilometer per hour okay so in the downstream the speed of boat will become both the speed of boat and also speed of water okay that is b kilometer per hour plus s kilometer per hour okay now let's consider another example suppose assume that there is a boat here okay and boat is traveling on the water now let's assume that boat is traveling in the forward direction okay and assume that water is traveling in the backward direction Okay, in the first case, both boat and water are traveling in the same direction, that is forward direction. Okay, and in the second case, boat is traveling in the forward direction and water is traveling in the backward direction. Okay, so whenever the water is traveling in the backward direction, that is opposite direction of the boat, boat will reduce the speed of the boat. Because here water is pushing the boat backwards. Okay, so that the speed of boat will be reduced here. Okay, now what is the total speed of boat will become here? That is B minus S. 
okay in the first case both boat and water are traveling in the same direction so water will help the boat to increase its speed okay and in the second case water is traveling in the backward direction of the boat so water will reduce the speed of the boat that is the total speed of the boat will become b minus s kilometer per hour okay so what will we call whenever that both are traveling in opposite directions that is upstream okay whenever the both boat and water are traveling in the same direction we will call it as downstream okay whenever the both boat and water are traveling in the opposite direction we will call it as upstream okay so whenever the both boat and water are traveling in the same direction we will call it as downstream and we will add the both speeds of boat and water okay and whenever the boat and water are traveling in the opposite directions we will call it as upstream and we will subtract both the speeds of boat and water okay here b is nothing but speed of boat and s is nothing but speed of water that is speed of stream okay so here downstream is nothing but the speed of boat when it is traveling in the same direction of water okay and upstream is nothing but the speed of boat when it is traveling in the opposite direction of water but we don't know what is the exact speed of boat that is when there is no water what is the actual speed of boat we don't know that how can we get it by adding the both downstream and also upstream okay so if i add both the downstream and upstream i will get what is the speed of boat okay see here the both downstream is nothing but b plus s and upstream is nothing but b minus s okay here boat is traveling two times that is in the downstream one time and also upstream one time okay so here we will get the two times of the boat speed but we want only one time of the boat speed so i am dividing it by 2 okay so i will get minus s and plus s will be cancel 2b by 2 that is boat speed okay see here we don't know what is the actual speed of boat that is when there is no water what is the exact speed of boat but we know what is the downstream and also upstream downstream is nothing but boat is traveling in the same direction of water and upstream is nothing but boat is traveling in the opposite direction of water but we don't know what is the exact speed of boat okay how can we get it by adding both the downstream and upstream we can get what is the actual speed of boat but here boat is traveling one time in downstream and another time in upstream so boat is traveling two times but we want only one time of the boat speed that's the reason i am dividing the whole equation by 2 so we will get 2b by 2 and 2d will be cancelled and actual speed of boat so whenever in the question they will ask what is the actual speed of boat we can simply add the both downstream and upstream and divide by 2 okay and whenever they will ask the speed of stream we will simply subtract the downstream from upstream okay so upstream minus downstream by 2 okay that is nothing but b minus s minus b plus s by 2 that is nothing but 2s by 2 and 2t will be cancelled actual speed of stream that is the actual speed of water okay so whenever they will ask the speed of boat we will add the both downstream and also upstream okay whenever they will ask the speed of stream that is speed of water we will subtract both the upstream and downstream that divided by 2 because stream is two times and also boat is two times here but we want only one time of the boat that is one speed of the boat okay that's the reason we will divide the both equation by 2 okay so this is the actual concept behind the boats and streams if you understand this concept you can simply solve any kind of questions based on the boats and streams okay so only things you need to remember is downstream is nothing but we will add the both boat speed and also water speed okay and upstream is nothing but we will subtract the boat speed from water speed or water speed from the boat speed okay and whenever they will ask boat speed we will add the both downstream and also upstream okay and whenever they will ask water speed we will subtract the downstream from upstream or upstream from downstream okay so if you understand this concept you can simply solve the questions based on the boats and streams okay now let's solve some basic level problems so that you can clearly understand how to use this concept in solving the problems okay now i have written this all the equations here so that you can clearly understand when i'm solving the problems okay now let's see the first problem they are saying that a boat goes 14 km upstream in 42 minutes the speed of stream is 4 km per hour the speed of boat in still water is so we need to find out what is the actual speed of the boat okay see here they have given a boat goes 14 km upstream so the total distance is 14 km and they are saying that boat is traveling in the upstream so upstream in the sense boat is traveling in the opposite direction of the water so upstream equal to upstream equal to speed of boat minus speed of stream or speed of water okay and also they have given that the total time taken to cover this distance is 42 minutes okay and also they have given what is the speed of stream that is stream speed equal to 4 km per hour 
okay now in the answers it is given in the form of kilometer per hour now we need to convert this time also into the form of hours how can we convert them by dividing 60 minutes so we will get uh, 3 three twenties under 3 ones 3 fours that is 2 sevens under 2 tens 7 by 10 hours okay now we need to find out what is the actual speed of the boat to find out this what is the actual speed of the boat first of all i need to find out what is the exact upstream value here okay now what is the basic formula speed equal to distance by time that is what is the distance here that is 14 kilometers by what is the total time 7 by 10 hours okay equal to upstream that is nothing but boat minus stream so we will get if i send this 10 to the uh, top side i will get 14 into 10 by 7 7 once 7 to 14 under equal to 20 kilometer per hour so upstream value is 20 kilometer per hour that is b minus s equal to 20 kilometer per hour now they have already given what is the speed of stream okay that is 4 kilometer per hour now b minus 4 equal to 20 kilometer per hour now what is the speed of boat i am sending this 4 to the right hand side so i will get b equal to 24 kilometer per hour okay so they have given what is the distance what is the time and also what is the speed of stream so we need to find out what is the actual speed of the boat okay so first of all we need to find what is the upstream value and then we can substitute the speed of stream so we will get what is the actual speed of the boat okay now let's see the second problem they are saying that a man moves 20 km downstream in 5 hours 10 km upstream in same time the speed of stream is so we need to find out what is the actual speed of the stream okay see here they have given in the first case man is covering total distance of 20 km in 5 hours so the total time is 5 hours okay and also they are saying that in the first case man is moving downstream so downstream in the sense man is moving in the same direction of the water so downstream equal to boat speed plus stream speed so we already know speed equal to distance by time so what is speed here that is downstream boat speed plus stream speed equal to what is the total distance 20 km by total time is 5 hours so we will get 5 once 5 hours b plus s equal to 4 km per hour so we got what is the downstream okay now in the second case man is covering a distance of 10 kilometers okay and covering this distance in the same time same time in the sense 5 hours so total time equal to 5 hours okay and also they are saying in the second case man is traveling upstream upstream is nothing but traveling in the opposite direction of the boat opposite direction of the water so we will get upstream equal to boat speed minus stream speed okay so speed equal to distance by time and what is speed here boat minus stream equal to 10 kilometers by 5 5 ones 5 twos and we will get boat minus stream equal to 2 kilometer per hour okay and i have already told you when it comes to stream speed we will subtract upstream minus downstream by 2 so what is upstream here that is 2 kilometer per hour minus downstream is 4 km per hour by 2 so we will get 2 km by 2 so we will get 1 km per hour ok 1 km per hour here minus is nothing but we are subtracting greater value from the lower value that's the reason we got minus here so don't consider it it is nothing but we are subtracting greater value from the lower value if we subtract upstream from downstream we will get positive sign ok now let's see the third problem they are saying that the ratio of speed of boat in still water to speed of stream is 8 is to 1. It takes 4 hours by boat to cover distance of 54 km in downstream and 42 km in upstream. Find the downstream speed of the boat. So we need to find out what is the speed of boat in downstream. Okay. See here they have given the ratio of boat and stream is 8 is to 1. Okay. This is the ratio of boat and stream. But we don't know what is the exact speed of boat and what is the exact speed of stream. That's the reason I am assuming the total speed of boat and stream is 8x is to 1x okay here they have given the ratio of speeds but we don't know what is the exact speed of boat and what is the exact speed of stream so i'm assuming the total speed of boat as 8x and total speed of stream as 1x okay and in the first case they have given the total distance as 54 kilometers okay and in the first case boat is traveling in downstream okay downstream in the sense boat is traveling in the same direction of water 
So, downstream equal to V plus S. In the same way, in the second case, the total distance is 42 kilometers and traveling in the upstream. Upstream in the sense, boat speed minus stream speed. Okay. Now, to cover this 54 kilometers and 42 kilometers, the total time taken is 4 hours. Okay. In the sense, time taken in first case and time taken in the second case, the boat total equal to 4 hours here. Okay. Now, we already know what is the speed formula distance by time. So, what is the time here? Distance by speed. Okay. We need to find out T1 plus T2 equal to 4 hours. Then we can find out what is the speed of boat. Okay. See here. T1 plus T2 equal to 4 hours. 4 hours is nothing but the total time taken to cover the 54 kilometers and also 42 kilometers. Okay. So, T1 equal to D1 by B plus S. In the first case, it is downstream. Okay. Plus T2 equal to D2 by B minus S because it is upstream there equal to 4 hours. So, D1 is nothing but 54 kilometers by B plus S. B is 8x and S is 1x. So, 8x plus 1x plus D2 is 42 kilometers. Okay. So, 8x minus 1x equal to 4 hours. So, we will get 54 by 9x plus 42 by 7x equal to 4 hours. Okay. So, if I cancel this, 9 once, 9 6 and 7 once, 7 6 equal to 6 by x plus 6 by x equal to 4 hours. So, the LCM of x and x that is x under 6 plus 6 equal to 4 hours. So, I will get 12 by x equal to 4 hours. Okay. 4 once, 4 threes and x equal to 3 hours. Okay. So, we have found out what is the value of x. Okay. So, if I substitute the value of x in the place of b plus s or 8x and x, I will get what is the speed of boat and what is the speed of stream. Okay. See here, I will substitute this 3 in the place of 8x. So, I will get speed of boat is that is boat equal to 8x that is 8 into 3. So, I will get 24 km per hour and stream speed is 1x that is 1 into 3. 3 km per hour. Okay. They are asking us to find out what is the speed of boat in downstream. Downstream is nothing but boat speed plus stream speed. What is the boat speed here? 24 plus 3 km that is 27 km per hour. Okay. So, first of all we need to find out what is the value of x. So, in the first case they did not give what is the exact speed. So, I am assuming the total speed as 8x and 1x. Okay. So, first of all we need to find what is the x and then we can substitute the value of x and then we can find what is the downstream. Okay. Now, let us see the fourth problem. They are saying that the speed of boat in still water is 24 km per hour while the speed of current is 8 km per hour. If the boat travels from point P to point Q and return back to the same point P, then find the average speed of the boat during the whole journey. So, we need to find out what is the total average speed of the boat. Okay. See here, they have given what is the total speed of boat that is 24 km per hour and total speed of stream is 8 km per hour. Okay. And I have already told you in the previous tutorials that is speed time and distance, the average speed is nothing but total distance travelled by total time taken to cover the distance. Okay. The average speed is nothing but total distance travelled, okay. total distance by total time taken. Now in the question what they are saying is boat is travelling from point P to point Q. Suppose assume that the total distance between P and Q is d kilometers. Okay. Now in the first case, boat is traveling from P to Q. So, boat needs to cover a distance of d kilometers to go from P to Q. Okay. So, in the first case, what is the total distance that is d kilometers. And in the second case also, to come from Q to P, boat needs to cover the same distance that is d kilometers in the second case also. Now, what is the total distance during the whole journey that is 2d kilometers. Okay. In the first case, boat is travelling from P to Q. So, covering a distance d kilometers. And in the second case also, boat needs to cover the same distance that is d kilometers. That is, the total distance is 2d kilometers. Okay. And now, assume that I am drawing the same diagram here. See here. P, Q. Now, assume that we do not know in what direction water is flowing. Okay. Suppose, assume that water is flowing from P to Q. Okay. Suppose, assume that water is flowing from P to Q. Now, in the first case, 
boat is travelling from P to Q. So, boat is travelling from P to Q and also water is travelling in the P to Q. Now, the boat directions of water and also boat is same. So, in the first case, the total speed becomes downstream. Okay. Now, in the second case, boat is travelling from Q to P. Okay. Now, water is travelling from P to Q. Okay. So, the boat speed and also water speed is in the opposite directions. So, in the second case, the total speed becomes upstream. Okay, see here, try to understand this. We don't know in which direction the water is flowing. So, I am assuming that water is flowing from P to Q. Okay, so in the first case, when the boat is travelling from P to Q, the water is travelling also from P to Q. So, the boat directions of boat and also water is same in the first case. So, the total speed becomes downstream in the first case. Okay, now when boat is returning from Q to P, boat is travelling in the opposite direction of the water. So, in the second case, the boat travels in the upstream. Okay, no matter whether it is upstream or downstream or whether it is upstream or downstream. The whole journey, the boat needs to travel in one case upstream and in one case downstream. Okay, whether it might be in first case upstream or second case downstream or it might be first case downstream and second case upstream. Okay, it does not matter. The only thing is, in the whole journey, boat needs to travel in one case downstream and in the other case upstream. Okay, see here, I am assuming in the first case downstream and in the second case upstream. Okay, now downstream in the sense, boat speed plus stream speed upstream in the sense boat speed minus stream speed now what is boat speed here 24 plus 8 that is 32 km per hour and 24 minus 8 that is 16 km per hour okay now what is the time taken in the first case that is distance by distance by 32 km per hour and in the second case time taken is distance by 16 km per hour Okay, now we have find out what is the time taken in the first case, what is the time taken in the second case and also what is the total distance. Now if I substitute this, all the values in the average speed, I will get what is the average speed of the boat. See here, the average speed is equal to total distance that is 2d kilometers by time taken in the first case that is d1 by that is d1 or d. Okay, the distance is common in the both cases so I am assuming it has only d. Okay, d by 32 km per hour plus d by 16 km per hour. So, the LCM of 16 and 32 that is 32 2D here and uh, D by 32 into 32 that is D plus 2D. So, we will get 2D by 3D by 32. So, I am sending this 32 to the, to, to the top side. So, I will get D and D will be cancelled under 2 into 32 by 3. So, we will get 64 by 3 km per hour. Okay, so this is the total average speed of the boat to, during the whole journey. Okay, so in the first case, boat is travelling in the downstream and in the second case, boat is travelling in the upstream. So it might be reverse also. So in this way, we will solve the problem based on the average speed. Average speed is nothing but total distance travelled by total time taken. In this question, total distance is nothing but 2D kilometers. Okay, total time, we need to find out what is the total time in both cases. Okay, and that's it for this video. Try to solve more and more problems based on this boats and streams. Okay, the only thing you need to consider is what is upstream, what is downstream and what is boat speed and also what is stream speed. Okay, if you know what is the concept behind this, you can solve any kind of questions based on the boats and streams. Okay, and try to solve more and more problems so that you can understand how to solve the problems in different situations. Okay, and for more tutorials like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.